All right, breaking news. We've got an upset alert in the world of college basketball. The Kentucky Wildcats losing to the Evansville Purple Aces, 67-64. Kentucky just moving to the number one spot on Monday, and already they've been upset. Evansville runs their record to 2-0. Who would have thought at Rupp Arena? 67-64, number one Kentucky falls to Evansville. Man, oh man, you just never know. All right, welcome to CBS HQ, everybody. I'm Scott Stanford alongside our college hoops expert, Tim Doyle. Uh, Tim, if I would have told you Evansville was going to take out Kentucky on this Tuesday night, you would have said to me, what? That you're crazy. I mean, that's easy, right? You're down in Rupp Arena. You're 24 and a half point favorite. You knocked off the number one team in college basketball, led by a bunch of veterans. I'm talking about that big win, really on opening night of college basketball, and they beat Michigan State. But Scott, this just proves another point about college hoops, that when you have veterans, when you have guys that have been around the block, guys that are seniors like KJ Riley for Evansville, Cunliffe has been through the wars, he's a junior, and you go up against freshmen, Anything could happen, and I thought the execution from Evansville was sloppy. Three shot clock violations over the last four minutes of the game, but shot clock violations ended up being not the worst thing that could happen to them because they waste 30 seconds. They don't get a chance to push the ball. They got to take the ball out of bounds. So they really salted away the game, and then they made their free throws down the stretch. Kentucky in this game looked one thing. They looked really, really young, and you look around their roster – you see Tyler Hero scoring a bunch of points in the NBA. You see P.J. Washington starting in the NBA. You could see the guys in Kentucky looking around down the stretch being like, all right, who's going to be the guy that's going to step up? Instead, it was Evansville that made just enough plays. And what an upset, their first ever win over a number one ranked team. Yeah, I feel like, Tim, you knew this was going to happen because you got your purple tie on tonight. Uh, you know, Walter McCarty head coach at Evansville. He's, his alma mater is Kentucky. He was in the, won the 96 championship with Kentucky. What does that mean for a guy like that to come in, take out his alma mater when they are number one? Well, it's got to be the highlight of his coaching career. Obviously, he was an outstanding player, won a national championship there, donning number 40 for Kentucky, and then coached for, with Brad Stevens at the highest level of the NBA and then has taken over a program there at Evansville. And I've watched their practices. I, I've, been, I've called some of their games. We're going to call some of their games later in the year. And I know that K.J. Riley could be the best player in the Valley. But, you know, honestly, this was a game that when I handicapped on sports line with Kentucky being 24-and-a-half point favorite, Scott, this was my philosophy. They weren't going to beat up on a former alum that bad. So I figured Evansville was going to cover the 24-and-a-half. Not in my wildest dreams could I have pictured an upset but they had the perfect formula. They had older guys that had been through the wars that didn't make key turnovers that led to easy layups. Every bucket that Kentucky scored ended up being in the half court over the last six, seven minutes of the game. So they did a great job, even though they had shot clock violations, of slowing a more athletic, a younger, a more talented team down. And then once in college hoops, you get a team in the half court. Now all of a sudden, that athleticism is a bit negated. They got to figure out who their go-to guy is. And they were all looking at Maxi like, all right, buddy, you took over in the garden. Like, go make this happen. He didn't have his best night. I think he showed his true colors. He was young. And just like anything else, I'm sure these guys showed up. They've been reading, well, who has press clippings anymore? They've been reading social media and being told how great they are. They came out a little bit flat. Veteran team was ready for them. And that's what makes college basketball so special. Really, anything could happen on any given night, and I think this is just going to be one of a plethora of upsets throughout the college basketball season. Yeah, and for Evansville, it's their first road win over an AP-ranked team in the history of their club. You know, Tim, you were talking about Vegas and, and the odds for this game and how many points Kentucky was giving. Uh, you know, what do the Vegas books do now uh, going forward with Kentucky? I mean, was this team uh, not as good as everybody thought, or, or Evansville better than people thought? You know, what's going How do you get ranked number one, and then the, the next day you, you lose to an Evansville? Yeah, I think that's an honest question. I mean, they get ranked number one because they beat the best team in college basketball, supposedly Michigan State. Now, Michigan State was not 
at full strength in that game, had some key injuries. Obviously, Lankford did not play in that game. But, hey, they won the game in the world's most famous arena. I have suited up in that arena, Madison Square Garden I'm talking about. And there are games, there are special moments that happen on arenas like that, in courts like that, that sky step up. And it's like, I'm not really sure you can gauge as like, oh, that's the best team because they knocked off the number one team. The garden has like a special feel to it. And it's really something that if you haven't been to a game there, you got to go see a college basketball game there. I think they deserve to have the ranking, but your number one ranking in college basketball is only good really for one thing. It's good for recruits. You can be like, oh, we're the number one team in the country. Besides that, the only number one that matters is, you know, after the Final Four, if you're the number one team cutting down the net, as far as college basketball rankings, can't get your panties all in a bunch there, Scotty. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Obviously, great win for Evansville. And probably the biggest ramification after all this is going to be for the Missouri Valley Conference because those teams, the Loyolas, the Drakes, the Southern Illinois, they have such a hard time scheduling the Kentuckys. Oh, you can go to Kentucky. Oh, they, they, you come on down and play us on our home floor. But they would never return that favor. So when Selection Sunday comes along and the committee looks at it, they go, well, who have you beat? Who have you played? They have a, such a hard job scheduling that this win against Kentucky will help everybody in the conference. Because now whoever beats Evansville, now Evansville's rating is going to go through the roof. So this really could have long-term effects come March. If the Missouri Valley, which is typical, a one-bid conference, if they're going to get two bids. You know, the year that Loyola Chicago went to the Final Four, if they didn't knock off, I believe it was Illinois State or Bradley, in the Missouri Valley Championship, there would have been no Sister Jean. There would have been no Miracle Run. There would have been no Cinderella. And that's what captivates college basketball. I would want to see more of the little guys get a chance to play in the big tournament. But they have such a hard job of scheduling because none of the Power 5 schools will go on the road and play those games on opposing teams' territory. All right, he's our college hoops expert, Tim Doyle. Timmy, thank you, my friend. By the way, it's, it's not panties. I'm wearing boxers tonight, so they're all bunched up instead. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so here's the upset. Number one, Kentucky falls to Evansville, 67-64. Kentucky was number one for the first time in three years, but they didn't get a chance to uh, enjoy that for too long. We've got your highlights. Full game highlights and the big Evansville win coming up right here on CBS Sports HQ. Stick around.